victim formation, right superior swelling going downward and left inferior swelling going upward, uh, foreshadowing the spiral course of the aortic and pulmonary areas. Here you can see interventricular septum is now been completely formed. This is muscular part of interventricular septum and this is membranous part of the interventricular septum which is formed by endocardial cushion as well as conus swelling. This area is atrioventricular canal on the right side and atrioventricular canal on the left side. In this area again left atria you can see the septum primum, septum secundum and oval foramen. In this diagram, same changes, septum primum, septum secundum, oval foramen, atrioventricular canal. Um, also in this, the uh, septum secundum, primum, oval foramen, and also the right and the left sinus valves over here. This is the development of conotrunkal region, uh, right and left corner swelling. This area is the uh, atrioventricular, right atrioventricular canal and left atrioventricular canal. This is membranous part of interventricular septum and this is, sorry, this is muscular part of interventricular septum and this is membranous part of interventricular septum. Here you can see the aortic uh, arches coming out from the aortic sac, also the pulmonary vessel, superior and inferior villi cava and right coronary sinus. Here you can see the complete uh, development of interventricular septum. The uh, ostium sec uh, septum secundum has been formed completely. Septum primum, this is endocardial cushion. Here is the foramen oval, which is also initially called ostium secundum. So, uh, this, will, uh, this is the right venous valve. Left venous valve fuses with the um, septum secundum, so right venous valve persists and it will form the valve of the uh, inferior vena cava and valve of the coronary sinus. These are the endocardial cushions, this is the interventricular septum, right and left atrioventricular canals and this area also very important. This part is the absorbed part of the initial part of pulmonary vein into the uh, left atrium and this area which is the absorbed part of the sinus venosis into the right atrium which is also called sinus venereum. Uh, these are the pulmonary roots, superior and inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus and that's all.